Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Chris and welcome to Path to Wellness. Today's video is seven years plant-based and thriving, chronometer, calories, and nutritional stats. So if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button and check the bell so you're notified of all my new videos. And I do appreciate that. Out on a walk today and the air is perfect, nice fresh air. So definitely encourage everyone to get out there, get on some walks, some hikes, and breathe fresh air if you can, super important. So I did something today that I typically don't do, and that is I'm inputting all of my food into a chronometer, and it's giving me the stats on the macronutrients, the micronutrients, how much fat, protein, and carbs, and all those cool stats. So I figured I'd share it, and I am six foot tall, 170 pounds, and I'm very active, so I'm just showing what works for me. Some people are gonna need more, some people are gonna need less, just depending on how tall you are and how active you are and what type of lifestyle you're living. I'm also really big into intermittent fasting. So I eat my food within an eight hour window or less every day. So I fast at least 16 hours and not more. And you can go ahead and check out my playlist on fasting to learn more about that. I highly recommend it. So I'm gonna start off by showing you the food that I ate that's in the chronometer and all the statistics. And then after that, I have some clips of the actual meals that I had. So here it is. All right, so I just finished eating my last meal and I got everything in here on the chronometer. And I'm gonna show you the statistics and then I'll show you exactly what I ate. Ended up eating three meals in seven hours and ended up having 3,175 calories, 100 grams of protein, 418 grams of carbs, and 88 grams of fat. Now this here says burn 2,000 calories, a calorie surplus of 1,111, but just ignore that because I didn't put in the exercise that I did today. But I ended up consuming 3,175 calories. It was 65% carbs, 23% fat, and 12% protein. And I hit basically all of my targets for the vitamins and micronutrients. And we'll go over some of those here. I had 116 grams of fiber, for example. Got all the omega-3s and basically the omega-6 fats, 97% on that. Uh, let's see here. All the different vitamins, I hit them all, except for vitamin D, which I get sunlight or I take a supplement. So I just didn't put that in there. Got everything else. Sodium had about a thousand milligrams. And all of the proteins, essentially hit all the proteins, uh, 100 grams total. And that's pretty much all the statistics. And let me show you now exactly what I ate. So I started off my first meal at noon today and I made a big smoothie. This is a really good one. I had two frozen bananas and one unfrozen banana. I had one cup of frozen cherries, a cup of frozen blueberries. I used two tablespoons of chia seeds, two tablespoons of cocoa powder, a quarter cup of Marcus Roscrans Green Pro C Mix, which is like dried herbs and greens and things like that, and a couple big handfuls of power greens and I used a couple of glasses of water to thin it all out. So this is a really good way to start the day, to start my meals with a big smoothie at noon, which was after my workout. Really good post-workout smoothie. Then at 2.30, I had two oranges. I let that digest for a little bit, and then I had two servings of oatmeal that I just microwaved. With a, I sliced up a banana, I had a half cup of raisins, about a quarter cup of almonds, a couple more tablespoons of soaked chia seeds and a couple tablespoons of hemp seeds. So it's a good combination that I like to throw on my oatmeal. And that was at 2.30, and there it is. So that was good. And then at about 6.30, I had a big salad. It had greens, celery, cucumber, avocado, apple, and tomato. Nice big hearty salad. And I had two bowls of this pasta. It was whole grain pasta with cashew plant-based Alfredo sauce and peas on the top. So thanks for watching, everyone. Give a thumbs up if you liked the video. 
and we'll be back soon. Bye-bye.